Wild Magic Resonance – Can two sorcerers and two rings of spell storing guarantee a wild magic surge? While reviewing this related question, I think that a sorcerer's wild magic surge, which has a chance to be triggered when a sorcerer casts a spell, can be forced. Looking at how the ring of spell storing works I think that two wild magic sorcerers could cast the same spell back and forth into two rings of spell storing, each sorcerer being attuned to one and eventually trigger a wild magic surge on purpose. The necessary assumption is that the chance for a wild magic surge is rolled for every time a spell is cast by a sorcerer. While that is not a hard and fast requirement in the PHB, it is the only way I've seen that class played the one time we had one in a party. Here's how it works, I think, but I am unsure of one detail, attunement. Wild magic resonance. Chaos bolt. Is cast into an empty. Ring of spell. Storing by a sorcerer at spell level 1 using a single first level spell slot. Her colleague also has an empty. Ring of spell storing. There are no restrictions based on spell slot size nor on spell level. Ring of spell storing. This ring stores spells cast into it, holding them until the attuned wearer uses them. Any creature can cast a spell of first through fifth level into the ring by touching the ring as the spell is cast. We will get back to this later. The spell has no effect, other than to be stored in the ring. The sorcerer who cast chaos bolt into her own ring now turns to her colleague and casts it into her colleague's ring to store it. Her colleague is the attuned wearer. The colleague, shortly thereafter, casts it back into the original sorcerer's ring to store it. They keep doing this, back and forth. Each time one of these two wild magic sorcerers casts the spell into the other's ring to be stored, a check is made to see if a wild magic surge is triggered. Eventually, the check will result in the table being consulted an AD 100 roll for a wild magic surge. Hilarity ensues. While wearing this ring, you can cast any spell stored in it. The spell uses the slot level, spell save DC, spell attack bonus, and spell casting ability of the original caster, but is otherwise treated as if you cast the spell. The spell cast from the ring is no longer stored in it, freeing up space. The only obstacle I can see to this prank by two sorcerers, aided no doubt by a few glasses of elven wine, is whether or not they can cast a spell into the ring of spell storing, without being attuned to it. I am sure you have to be attuned to it in order to cast spells from it, but I am not sure if you have to be attuned to it in order to cast a spell into it. Is attunement required in order to cast a spell into the ring of spell storing? Or is attunement only required to cast a spell out of the ring while wearing it? I don't think attunement is required, but I'm open to answers to show how this prank may not work. And yes, I would expect that wild magic sorcerers could easily be the kind of undisciplined PCs who would get a kick out of a prank like this. Laughter. Ha ha, you're a potted plant. Casting the spell into someone else's ring isn't a problem. The ring of spell storing says that any creature can cast a spell into it. Check. Transferring a spell from one ring to another should work. The issue here, apparently, is that the ring only accepts spells that were cast using a spell slot. But the ring also produces spells that are cast using a spell slot while wearing this ring you can cast any spell stored in it the spell uses the slot level spell save dc spell attack bonus and spell casting ability of the original caster note not spell level which is an immutable part of the spell description but slot level normally the reason slot level matters is for upcasting if you spend a fourth level slot to store say thunderwave then this property of the ring means you will get the spell back out as a fourth level. Thunderwave. Upcasting features on spells are worded as when you cast this spell using a spell slot of north level or higher, you get a benefit for each slot level above the spell's level. This shows that slot level is equivalent to level of the spell slot used to cast the spell. The benefit based on slot level applies if and only if an nth level spell slot was used. So for the ring to properly upcast spells, it must cast the spell. As if an nth level slot had been spent. And if it does that, then the spell is eligible for storage in another ring, or, in principle, the same ring. Casting from the ring will trigger a wild magic roll. The rest of that sentence, dot but is otherwise treated as if you cast the spell. You're a wild magic sorcerer, so when you cast a spell, you can, at the DM's option, roll for wild magic when you cast a spell of first level or higher. This is such a spell, and it's treated as if you are casting it. Check. 